Welcome to Planet Golf's review of the Sanderson's Farm Championship. All the information I'm about to give you, you can find at planetgolfreview.com and that has all the links through to the best odds that we found so far. And don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get a notification when new videos go live. So tips to win this week, no surprise, Ludwig Oberg 12-1 to 1 with 888 Sport, Eric Cole 22-1 to 1 with Sporting Index and Emiliano Grillo 25-1 to 1 with 888 Sport. Look, week, well, it all comes down to Harry Coates with, obviously, the hangover, the loss of adrenaline, and then he, on top of that, he's got a long-haul flight. So I think he's either going to fly through this and use the energy from last week and win his first PGA Tour event, or a crash and burn and miss the cut. But I expect him to do well. Eric Cole, well, he will take a lot of confidence on his Fort Annette Championship finish with top five he had there. Emiliano Grillo. Well, this will be the fourth time he's played in this event, and he had a top five finish here last year, despite opening with a 73. Emilio won his first PGA Tour event last year, and finished the season really strongly with three top 20 finishes from his last five starts, and he made it all the way to the Tour Championship. Each way tips, Akshay Bahati 55-1, to one, and Cullum Turan 66-1, to one, both with Unibet. Actually, well, I did tip him for the 49 and he missed the cut, but that seems to be the way he is at the moment. He'll be up one week and down the following week, miss a cut, and then challenge really strongly. But I expect him to challenge strongly this week. And Cullum is the same. He seems to be a lack of consistency up and down at the moment. But he had a top 15 finish in this event last year and had a top 10 at the 49 a couple of weeks ago. So I expect him to challenge again this week. The outside tip. Quite surprised to see Peter Molnati 80 to 1 with Life Score Bet this far down the betting odds seems he's won the tournament and also had a runner up and he arrives with plenty of confidence after his top 15 finish at the Fortinet Championship. So I think they're good odds for him. The longer odds, try Henrik Norlander 200 to 1 with Life Score Bet. He's had three top 25 finish in his last three starts here and two of those have been fourth place finishes. So I think they're quite good odds as well. As always, there's only one real winner, and that's the bookies. So just bet for fun, but have a great weekend. Good luck. Bye for now.